Welcome to the MidwestSports.net channel. Today with me on the summit is Josh Gamblin, the head men's basketball coach for the Mid-America Christian University Evangels. Coach number three in the country right now. Great start to the season. Highest ranking in the NAI Top 25 poll since 2016. Right, right. No, it's been a... It's been a good run. You know, our kids have answered every challenge. They've worked really hard. I think we've we've pushed them uh, really hard. You know, even in preseason, I thought they did a good job. They were in their gym. They were in the gym on their own quite a bit. So been been proud of their effort. But as you know, and as as we all know, things can can change quickly. You know, we have to continue <laughs> to get better and have a really important week this week with a big game tomorrow at Texarkana. So um excited but but focused and, and worried about you know practice today and the and, and the daily challenge of, of getting better well you're one of, one of the teams right now in the nai that is undefeated nine and oh the record right now and nine consecutive wins not only to start the season but this is the longest winning streak in program history i remember a few years back it was 2015 2016 you had eight in a row going into a tough match with usao and dropped a tough two-point loss against right. the drovers but you know what i i think all things even out you went on to win the national championship that year as well so i, I guess that's all right right yeah no it, it worked out okay but yeah you know I, I think the key to it has been is and and you know everybody here at, at mac U and friends and they've they've mentioned the the winning streak and that's great but you know i think it for us it's a it's a daily thing it's a it's an every possession it's an every moment we have to we have to get better i mean we we talk about ourselves and our next opponent that's that's the only thing we try to talk about and just try to get better um so the, that is what maybe helps keep the streak going um because again you know our level is is so good each day is a is a challenge and if if we don't continue to get better then this thing can can flip quickly well, your offense definitely is taking care of business, and I know there there is defense along the way, and I know that's something that, that you do preach to the kids, but clearly sure. right now uh, the offense is something that stands out, scoring at a pace of better than 95 points per outing, uh, more than 100 points four times in the nine games so far this season, and along with that defense, then you're outscoring teams by a, an average margin of, of more than 24 points per game. Yeah, you know, I think our kids, the fit, you know, I think everybody has a role and they're doing their job. This is probably the most in our in our five years here we've thrown the ball inside, and that's been really big for us. Cedric Wright is a is a really good low block scorer, but he's also a very unselfish player. Uh, he's a very good passer, and that has kind of set the table for everything we want to do. We're, we're trying to play with pace. We're trying to space it and create long closeouts. And, you know, be able to get in the paint and, and, you know, we stress making the right play. And I think that's really a credit to our kids. Uh, I think we have a lot of guys who can, who can put the ball in the hoop and each night, you know, it can be somebody different. You know, what Devon Moore did against Langston was, was unbelievable, you know, <laughs> and then said comes back against central two nights later and he's big and it's been, you know, Ashford, it's been Tony Dorsey. It's been Demarius, you know, Dom and Kalen are kind of our glue guys. Marvin Lowe's had some great nights. So I, I've been really proud of, um, just the cohesiveness and the unselfishness. Um, I mean, we got a guy like Carlos Slaughter who'll play, you know, three through five for us and do whatever we ask him to do. And so uh, we got a lot of weapons, um, but sacrifice and making the right play is, is easier said than done. You know, everybody wants to score and, and be the leading scorer. So I'm proud of our kids for the way they've shared the basketball. Well, and that's to be expected. I mean, who doesn't want to, who doesn't want to be the leading scorer? <laughs> right. But right. with with a group like this, and you talk about right too, four yeah. players who are averaging double digits in scoring, and, and it's Wright, Golden, Jones, and Moore, led by Cedric Wright, and, and he comes in putting up 18 points per night. But to address something you said too, the way they pass the ball around, six players on this team have total assists through nine games of more than 10 assists. For the season i mean you, you know right. it, the the numbers back that up as well well and you and you hit it right on the head and i don't think i mentioned him yet but terrence has kind of been an unsung hero for us he, he comes off the bench and is kind of a swiss army knife and <laughs> can really handle it can really make plays and you know teams that that pressure us he can really relieve that so it, there's a lot of guys who can do a lot of different things and so each game we're trying to fit that together a little bit but no you're right the, the the willingness to share the ball and i think it's always easier when you're winning you know so hopefully we can we can keep that going but no our kids have they've they've made the right play 
and each night it's been somebody a little bit different and said has obviously been the one who's been a, uh, the most consistently kind of got his touches and his shots but I think he'd be the first one to, to be okay with hey if I get five shots tonight but we win that's okay and as long as we keep that um, everything else will kind of kind of fall in place. I think that that may answer a question I have for you just a little bit later on speaking now with Josh Gamblin the head coach at Mid-America Christian University and Coach, you've, you've started Sooner Athletic Conference play, and, and the Sooner Athletic Conference is, is just such a tough conference anyway. Yeah. First two yep. games, uh, as you get wins against uh, Langston and against Central Christian, slow starts, though, to both of those games. And, and you come <laughs> back, though, and find a way to get back in and then obviously uh, excel to, to the end. Talk about that. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting. We've, we've, we've talked about that a little bit as a team, you know, of, of wanting to get out of the gate quicker, having really good possessions on both ends to start the game. And I think we've gotten worse since I've talked about it. You know, so maybe <laughs> I, I shouldn't talk about it. But I, I think we have a calmness to us. You know, our guys are – I don't think they're bothered by too much. and They've done a really good job of kind of finding our way. Um, I think a lot of times, you, you know, you're doing scout on a team, you're talking about a team, but when you haven't played them or – or touched them, you know, or felt them, you really don't know how quick a guy is. You don't know how hard they're going to pressure the ball. And I think we've seen some of that early on in, in our games where, you know, we've gotten beat early, you know, or, or we, we haven't boxed out as hard as we needed to, or, or we turned it because we, you know, we weren't as tough with the ball as, as we needed to be. And I think we've gotten better with those things as the game has gone on. And if we can get stops, we can get out in transition. If we can get out in transition, I think it allows us to, to be the best offensive team we can be. Well, you go on the road to Texarkana, Texas A&M, Texarkana. That is tomorrow. And then you have a really long road trip, an NCAA Division <laughs> One school for an exhibition game. You take on Rio Grande Valley. Now, uh, for folks who may not be familiar with where that is, it's in Edinburgh, Texas, 10 hours from Moore, Oklahoma, South Oklahoma City area. Yeah. And for perspective, still two hours farther south, two hours plus farther south than Corpus Christi. So uh, you guys have, have quite a trip ahead in the next week. Yeah, big week for us. And, and you know, Ryan Wall at Texarkana has done an unbelievable job. They just they just beat a really, really good USAO team last week. And so they played us really tough at our place early on in the season. So it's going to be a, a huge challenge for us. They're going to they're gonna pressure us. They're going to zone us. They're going to trap us. So they're going to do a lot of different things. So it's a, it's a really big game. We have two countable games left, you know, before Christmas break. So these next two and a half weeks are just so huge. And then, you know, after Texarkana, we get a unique opportunity to go down and play, you know, Coach Lou Hill, who I was with at, at OU and, and his group, and he's done an unbelievable job down there, and they really get after it defensively. They'll pressure you and get after the ball and, and trap. And so it'll be it'll be a good challenge for our ball security, you know, a good challenge to see if we can um, dictate the, the pace of play and how we want to play. And um, obviously going on the road is, is really hard. And, you know, those trips, they're, they're pretty long, which make it a little bit tougher. So excited for the challenge. But, you know, it, 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 is, uh, it is a challenge for sure. And we're going to have to have a great day today and you know, give ourselves an opportunity to win. And then great days Wednesday and Thursday to give ourselves a chance to win Friday. Well, Coach, you obviously are off to a, a great start, a 9-0 record again right now. How do you keep up the pace like that? And you may have answered that question already with, you know, with the with the good ball movement. Can you keep up a pace like that, especially in a, in a tough conference like the Sooner Athletic Conference? And and where does this position you for later in the year? Because obviously, it's ultimately about uh, the run that comes in, in February and into March. Right. You know, I think consistency. I think we want to be the same team every single day with the way we approach how we're going to work. You know how we're going to come to practice, how we're going to be in pre-practice. Um, and, you know, each game presents a little bit different of a challenge. You know, some teams want to really play fast. Some teams are going to zone us and slow us down and try to keep us in the half court. And uh, we feel like we have guys who can win both ways. And so we're just going to prepare as hard as we can to give ourselves the best chance to win the game, however that looks. And so um, I think our kids have, have done a great job of that. They've bought into the scout, they've bought into the personnel, and they've been locked in and focused on those things. And as long as we kind of win the day um, each day, then I think we'll give ourselves a chance to be pretty good. Um, and then, you know, that, as, as that goes, that's, that's all you can do, you know, is try to get <laughs> yes. a little bit better each day and, and go from there. 
All right, Coach Josh Gamblin, the head men's basketball coach at Mid America Christian University, and Coach, the flagship show for our channel here, Midwest Sports Saturday, will be up your way. As a matter of fact, in late January, we'll be at Oklahoma City University for the doubleheader between the Stars and the Evangels in late January. So, look forward to getting to see you up there for sure, if not before then. And in the meantime, success to you for the rest uh, of this first half of the season. Safe trips on the road and. And uh, you all do well. Hey, Joey, appreciate you, man. And as long as you're rooting for Mac U at OCU, <laughs> then we'll be in good shape, brother. <laughs> we'll, we'll try to be really, really neutral on that day right, as, right. as much as we can. <laughs> Josh Gamlin with us on the summit today. Thanks for watching, and t- keep it tuned in right here. Be sure and like and share and subscribe to this channel. In the meantime, God bless you, and have a great day.